Lily was walking home from school one day when a huge portal opened up before her. She was curious, so she decided to walk through it. The portal took her straight to the castle of the great Zormir, a cool magician that had harnessed the power of thousands of philosopher stones. As soon as Lily crossed the portal, he closed it. He told the girl that she had been chosen to take part in a great quest and that she could only leave the castle if she agreed to play his game. She had to answer all of his riddles correctly, and only then he would let her go. For the first riddle, he showed her this image and asked her to figure out what word was hidden in this illusion. Can you help her out? It's the word sun. Way to go, both of you. Zormir liked to play with trickery and illusion, so for his next trick, he called a chef. The guy walked in with a cart filled with Spanish empanadas and Lily's mouth started watering. Yeah. He told Lily that she had to eat all of the empanadas, except one, and that she should choose wisely because that special empanada was poisoned. Oh. Take a look at the image. Can you help Lee choose which one she shouldn't eat? Let's see. That one on the bottom left corner looks suspicious. It has a green fog coming out of it. It's probably from some heavy type of poison, isn't it? Oh my God! Whew! Ah. Lily got out of that one okay. Next, Zormir showed Lily a strange painting. He changed the image on the painting to show one of his illusions. Can you figure out which word is hidden here? It's the word never. To get to the next level, Lily had to guess the answer to this simple riddle. What has keys but can't open locks and speaks without a mouth? It took the girl a while to figure it out, but she got it right. Yes. Do you know what she answered? It's a piano. Lily was taken to an empty room in the castle. It had nothing except four doors. The great Zormir told Lily that she had to find a time machine behind one of these doors and left her a clue. Trust only one of the inscriptions and it will lead you to the treasure. On each door, there was a sign. The sign on the door A said, it's behind B or C. The sign behind door B said, it's behind A or D. Door C said, it's in here. And door D claimed, it isn't here. Can you guess which door Lily opened? Let's see how this would work. If the time machine was behind door A, then both B and D would be true. But if it was behind door B, then both A and D would be true. If it was behind door C, then A, C, and D are all true. But if the time machine was behind door D, then the statements on all the other doors were false, except for that on door B. This matched the rules, so it was behind door D. Lily opened the door and found the time machine. Next to it, there was a super modern digital lock asking for a code of access. The catch was, as well as numbers, there were emojis. Lily had no idea which combination to press, but she saw that Zormir left a clue on a paper note. Two plus two, three plus three, seven plus seven. Can you help Lily out here? This is a tricky one. What she needed to do is overlay the numbers on top of each other. Once she's done that, she should flip the numbers on the second row. This way she'd get the image of a fish of the number eight and of a triangle. So the correct combination to unlock it was the fish emoji, the number eight, and a triangle. Yikes. The great Zormir had set the time machine back to prehistoric ages. So Lily was zapped straight back to the ancient past. 
Take a look at the image. Can you spot the other time traveler in the picture? Ah, that's the one right there. He's holding a flashlight. I mean, those certainly didn't exist back in the day. Lily went to talk to the other time traveler to see if he knew how she could get back to her normal timeline. He would only answer her question if she answered his riddle correctly. He asked her, What has a heart that doesn't beat and a bank that doesn't hold a cent? She was extremely confused by this one, but she answered, A deck of cards. The guy was impressed and told Lily that to go back to her normal timeline, she had to figure out what was hidden in another of Zormir's illusions. Can you guess what word is hidden here? It's the word dog. Way to go. Yes! Lily got back to her normal timeline, but instead of going back to the castle, she found herself stranded on a deserted island. There was a note from Zormir saying, the game is just getting started. You need to find the slang's witch and ask for her help. Take a look at the image. Can you find something that might help Lily find the witch? Ah, uh, you sure have an eye for detail. There are four pieces of torn paper that together form a map. The map leads the way to the witch's abode. Walking through the forest on her way to the witch's house, Lily runs into a bear. She has to make a quick decision. She can either run away from the bear as fast as she can, or she can raise her hands and walk steadily backward until the bear is out of sight. What is Lily's best option? If she ran, the bear might feel under attack and end up hurting her. She should choose the second option. Finally, that looks like a witch's house. She knocks and the witch lets her inside. She asks the witch for help, but the witch is worried about something else. Earlier that day, she was working on a new love potion with the help of her elves. When she noticed that her precious hawk feather was missing, she asked if Lily could find out which elf had taken it. Lily said yes and began to interview the elves. Arian said that he was giving apples to the fairies halfway through the making of the potion and that before that, he made sure that the witch had every ingredient she needed for the spell. Elowen said he was at another cauldron testing an anti-aging potion. He also said he was sure to see the feather before the witch started the job. Ilaria was sorting out the bad herbs from the herbs all afternoon and didn't notice anything weird going on in the house. Lily took some time to think about the elves' testimony and finally figured out the answer. Can you tell who did it? It wasn't any of the elves. Lily noticed that the feather had fallen down and was stuck in a crack on the floor. The witch must have let it fall down and didn't notice it on the floor. The witch was happy with Lily's help and told her she would help Lily run away from the great Zormir. She opened three portals and let Lily choose the one she wanted to go through. The first portal would lead Lily to New York City. The second portal would lead her directly to her school and the last portal would lead her to a beautiful island in the Bahamas. Take a look at the image. Which portal should she choose? Well, it could be fun to visit New York City, but there's a huge snowstorm going on. And why would anyone want to go to an island surrounded by sharks? Lily should just go back to school. She skipped enough classes. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.